Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your love and romance reading for Valentine's um, 2020. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in a Celtic cross. We'll see what energies are around for uh, Leo. First of all, you have the um, the Hierophant in the upright position, crossed by the Major Arcana, the Death card, and then we have the Ten of Wands followed then by the Two of Cups, and then we have Major Arcana the Devil in reverse, and lastly we have the um, Knight of Swords in the upright. So for your overall energy, Leo, you have that of the Hierophant in the upright position. The Hierophant is the card associated with the sign of Taurus. Perhaps some of you are dealing with Taurus. Um, the Hierophant may, mainly speaks of of commitments. So for some of you, uh, you could either be looking for a solid commitment uh, in a relationship. Others of you, perhaps you're in a commitment and um, with the death covering or, or crossing it here, it could represent something needs to come to an end or it needs to change. Um, there's a strong, strong element here of something needing to transform because when you have this, this can represent a commitment where making, maybe you're wanting to make a commitment to someone for those of you who say, for example, you've been dating someone for a while and you want to make a commitment to them or they want to make a commitment to you, but this is crossing it. And there's a problem here because you need to transform something in the relationship. So it means that something needs to like majorly transform in this relationship in order to make it workable. For others of you, if you're single and looking, perhaps what you're looking for is a serious relationship. You're definitely looking to, you know, draw towards you a serious relationship. You don't want any fluffy um, suitors at this time. You want somebody who's going to be serious. And in that respect, well, the death card does also um, connect to the sign of Scorpio. Maybe some of you are wanting to uh, connect with the Scorpio. You could also be just wanting to put an end to the way you've done relationships in the past. You may be wanting to change it up a bit, transform the way that you look at relationships or the way that you deal with relationships. Say, for example, in the past, if you've always just given in to your partner and that never went well, or if you've always been too stubborn in a relationship and that kind of killed the relationship. So this is maybe you taking a close look at yourself this Valentine's and realizing that in order to attract the, the serious relationship that you're looking for, something needs to transform and change within you. And we also have here the Ten of Wands here in the upright position. This can point to perhaps burdens, maybe too many burdens. You've found relationship or your particular relationship in the past to be really burdensome. Others of you could be just feeling like relationships themselves are, you know, a lot of, of, of work and they can cause you a lot of distress and a lot of worry. But then we do have the Two of Cups here in the upright position. This is all about that soulmate twin flame energy that could, uh, this energy is around you in the week of Valentine's. So you could be looking at uh, connecting with a partner on a deep level this week. And perhaps you're wanting to go out and celebrate Valentine's. And uh, if that's the case, you could be really, really reconnecting or connecting with someone new that's on the scene. You could be talking to them and having great conversations. And perhaps you're explaining to them how you feel about relationships and they're totally on board. For others of you, this could be if that relationship itself, that existing relationship is coming hitting critical mass because something needs to transform. Well, this could be you and your partner really getting on the same page and talking about how we can transform it, how we can change it. And then we have Major Arcana, the Devil card, the, the Capricorn card in the reverse. Uh, the Devil card is all about releasing um, a lot of fears and releasing a lot of anxiety and ruminating thoughts. This is about letting go of the fears. And then we have the Knight of Swords in the upright position. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
uh, sun, moon, or rising. It could be involved with an, an air sign, or it could just be, this could again be part of that same scenario where it's all about communication, direct communication. Could be sometimes a little bit aggressive communication, could be on your part or on their part, but this is someone who really, really needs to clear the air. Um, for others of you, if this is someone new that is on on your radar, this person could be coming in fast and furious right towards you, uh, Leo, and really, you know, wanting to strike up a conversation with you or, you know, bring you an offer, invite you out for Valentine's. So interesting reading here. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below. You've got three major arcana in this reading. Could be an intense time for you here, Leo. And in closing... I'm pulling a uh, uh, Under the Roses from the Lenormand deck. It's a beautiful deck here. Uh, one card for some other advice. And you have the mice. The mice can represent um, a pesky energy around. It could be coming from exterior, you know, coming into your relationship. Or it could be a pesky situation that needs to be resolved and transformed. So that is your reading, Leo. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.